Hey there, welcome back to episode 5. If you've been tagging along, you'll see we've enjoyed two awesome days of riding, scenery, weather, food, and more. We've had so much fun we plan to make this a yearly event. Today, most of our time will be on the bikes, so get comfortable and enjoy the ride. Good morning, good morning. We're on day three of our ride, headed to Breckenridge and a couple other places and the Colorado Dragon. I really don't know where we're going, so I'm following one of them. <laughs> As you can see, they're kind of yellow, so they're putting on sunscreen. Yellow, yellow people need, yellow sun people need sunscreen. sunscreen. I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, we hit the Garden of Gods this morning, rode through there, drove about 40 miles or so. Yeah. About um, grabbed some breakfast the Hungry at the Hungry Bear restaurant. Pancakes were massive. Massive. Uh, food was really good, so we're gonna get ready to go, head up to Breckenridge, and then we'll check in with you there. Hey, hey, uh, we just made a quick little pit stop here at the Overlook. Um, this is located, it's called Wilkerson Summit Pass, I believe, um, as it crests over the mountain and it opens up into this postcard right here. So we just wanted to pull off and take a quick picture, take in the sights. We are headed, let's see, down this road and all the way there. And then we're gonna turn north and head to Breckenridge that way. But yeah, Wilkerson Summit Pass, this is off of Highway 24, headed west. Bikes are doing good. Got Flat Sean made it out for a photo op. <laughs> I said Flat Sean made it out for a photo op. <laughs> All right, um, next stop will probably be Fair Play, Colorado. So that's probably another you know, 45 minutes or so. We'll see you there.
It's already going. You want to do this one, Chris? Oh, it's already going. Okay, yep, as you can see, we are suiting up, putting on the frog togs. I'm all ready to go right here. Got my little rain suit. Dad got his jacket because we are going in that direction <laughs> to Breckenridge. And it says right now it is raining in Breckenridge. Um, it should be stopping about the time we get there, but in order to stay on track for the rest of our trip today and also beat the rain coming back out of Breck, uh, we think it's probably best to drive through it, get there, dry off, and then have a dry ride on the way home. So we're at a gas station here in Fairplay, getting suited up, and uh, we'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Made it to Breckenridge, managed to skirt the major part of the storm. We only went through a couple sprinkles, so I think we timed it perfectly. So we're just getting the frog togs off, gonna walk around Breckenridge a little bit and check it out. What we got going on here? Oh, maybe like that. Just like this little right here. Bam! Good enough. Guess you could get a body in there. I'm <laughs> swimming, you take it. <laughs> <laughs> being there all day. Thank you. 
We're in a rush. There's a, there's a death cloud coming. Probably hard to see in this film, but it's starting to thunder. I think I even saw a little bit of lightning. So we're gonna get our gear on. We're gonna get out of here as fast as we can and hopefully not get too wet. What time is it? It is 6.53. So 6.53, we just came down, I think this is 2.85, which is considered the Colorado Dragon. It was 2.85, this oh, is 126. Sorry, 126 is considered the Colorado Dragon, and it was pretty badass. Uh, got some good video, um, but the whole point was to come here to this place called Decker's and get some ice cream. But they're closed. And they're closed. Matter of fact, the entire complex is closed. So we're not sure whether they're only open on weekends or whether they closed before we got here. So we're taking a little break. Then we're gonna get back on the bikes and head home and I think Tiffany's making spaghetti. Spaghetti, get it. Unless we find another ice cream shop on the way. <laughs>
Hey, hey, so we are back in Colorado Springs. It is the end of day three. We did about 250 miles today. Um, just came back from Breckenridge through Fair Play, uh, Bailey, Pine, Deckers, Woodland Park, Manitou, and now back to the Springs. Uh, but one thing we forgot to do in Breckenridge because we got rained out was uh, get the interview for dad's bike. So I'm here with El Senor El Jefe. <laughs> the big bike here. Tell us, tell us about the ride. Sure, sure. So this is my 2006 Honda Goldwing. I bought it brand new in December of 2006. I have about well, by the time I get home, I'll have almost 70,000 miles on it. Um, you can see I've done a lot of accessories. Anything you see on it that's chrome, I put on it because when I bought it, it came all black. Um, I've added like a GPS. It has a GPS built in, but uh, Honda quit updating it probably back in 2012. So I added my own GPS. Uh, that's just my little phone mount. <laughs> um, and uh, I've taken it all over the country. Been to California and back, and this is a uh, might as well be over the country. I've been now to Colorado and almost back. Mm -hmm. So I have a trailer hitch. For this trip, for the trip with the boys, we just put a little rack on it so we can carry a cooler with our drinks. And oh, food. wait, wait, what's that in there? What's that? Oh, the bat signal. Yeah. Bat signal. yeah. <laughs> um, and when I travel long distance, that becomes the hitch for my trailer. So this is my ride. And it's been good to me. I've never had any issues out of this bike, none whatsoever. Nice. Um, I think I'm on my third, fourth front tire and probably my sixth back tire, but I decided to go dark side, so I now have a car tire on the back, and this has been lovely. Um, whether you like it or not, it's, it's, it's great for riding on the highway, and it's uh, really stable, runs through rain really well. Um, it's just been an all good around tire. I think I must have probably close to 30,000 miles on it, so it's time to get a new one. <laughs> hey, so are you calling ET with this thing? You know, <laughs> this is for the radio that you don't I've use. Never used. <laughs> I mean, you got your your iPod or iPhone, and um, why why use the radio? Got I the do have Sirius XM power source up. here, so I got a lot of uh, power outlets for charging. Uh, it's my built-in, well, not built-in, but my TPMS sensor. This bike in 06, they didn't have TPMS sensor, so that's what this is. Um, this is the mount for my Sirius XM. You got it coming out through the vent to charge the GoPro on the go. And then back here, look, we got a, an extra charging station. All the charge phones and batteries. Phones and batteries and stuff on the go. This man is prepared. <laughs> all Boy Scouts. You gotta be prepared. <laughs> but all in all, it's been an awesome bike. I thought about getting the new one, but you know what? Can't, can't beat old people. Can't beat, it. can't beat the wing. Is this your favorite bike? This is my favorite bike. So and That's, that's nice. what? 20, 25 some years riding? Uh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yep. So, it's got a lot of storage. Yeah. Beth loves it because she can sit up there and fall asleep. Literally fall asleep <laughs> on the back. I can testify. Oh, and it's got surround sound. See this? You got the two rear speakers and two in the front. Yeah. It's a little dirty. We went through some rain today. But honestly, the dirtiest I've seen it since you got here. <laughs> it won't take me long to get it clean. <laughs> right. Because they just go by with your microfiber and wipe it all off. Cool. But, how, much, day, how, how much you want for it? How much I want for it? He's like, how much is that? Uh, <laughs> Not for sale. Not for sale. <laughs> cool. All right. Catch y'all later. All right, I just have to say, I've been living under a rock for far too long. I did not know about this, and we got one before this trip, and it makes a world of difference. It's amazing, not just even for cruising, but like uh, throttle control, the stoplights going in and out of the corners. If you don't have one of these and you don't have cruise control, get one. This is the Cramp Buster. 
they said it's the original but i've seen some ones online that also claim to be the original but it's a wrist saver or a throttle rocker a cramp buster this is legit it's like 12 bucks made a world of difference i can't tell you it's love that's love right there oh and don't forget the scratch card yeah gotta represent that batman <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye, GP.